Featuring Professor Ken and Rick in The Lion's Den. Another thing that I think a lot of little young brothers are dealing with, probably some sisters too, you know, when you're on a successful path, you know, and you know, you're, you're getting goals accomplished, how do you deal with the sneak dissing? You may picked up the new Wraith or, you know, you just got the, the latest model uh, uh, Mercedes and, you know, you just secured that new condo or, you know, you done uh, got everything together for your new business venture. Okay. Let me just say this to anybody who ever achieved anything in life. Hey, man, the hate come with it. Hate come with everything that's great. If you're great, they're going to hate. Uh, let me give you an example. If a person achieve a great amount of success, or whether it be in speaking or whether it's in business or whatever, it's going to always be levels of achievement. The greater the level, the greater the devil. Hmm. The greater the level, the greater the devil. No man or woman will achieve anything monumental without some type of setbacks. Because a setback is a setup or a comeback. You know, it's just it just happened that way. You cannot become a great anything and not succumb to some type of uh, trials and tribulations. It's just hard. It comes with the territory. Right. It is nothing that I've I've never had a major breakthrough in my career or in my life where it was not followed through a major fall through. But guess what? It is those fall throughs and those failures and those naysayers and those haters that builds you. That's what build characters. You know, that's what build uh, leaders. That's what build powerful people. You know, it's, it's not what you can accomplish, but it's how much you can go through, you know, that makes you accomplish. You know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of times, you know, people see great men and great women and successful men and successful women, but they never see what they went through. Now, if I told people all of the stuff I go through, all the days that I have been broke, busted, and disgusted, if I told them all the days that my friends and turned their back on me and people and stabbed their knife, stabbed my, put knives in my back and stabbed me in the back, if I told people, all that, you know, and they look at my life, they say, well, man, no, man, I thought you'd intro ultra, man, you know, you know all the celebrities, but if I told them all the money that I had to spend, all the people that I had to, you know, work through, all the smoke and the clouds that I had to get through, all the storms, you know, that I had to fly above like eagle and fly above the storm, you know, they, they wouldn't even believe it. See, mm-hmm. people always want your story. I want your glory, but they don't want your story. See, you know my glory, but you don't know my story. So in order to have any glory, you want to have a story. And part of that story is going to be hatred. It's going to be devils. It's going to be wickedness. It's going to be people backbiting you. It's going to be family betraying you. You know, it's going to be all kind of stuff. You know, and if you read the Bible, you know, if you look at all of God's great men, they had great tribulations. You know, look at Job in the Bible. Job went through all kinds of stuff. He lost everything. And when the devil was looking for somebody to scorn, God said, have you considered my servant Job? There was a reason for that because, see, the reason why God loves for us to go through hell is not because he'd like us to go through hell because when he brings us through, he'd like to get the credit. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, you know, hey, listen, I bless Ken, I bless Rick, you know what I mean? Yeah, they was doing bad. Yeah, y'all talked about them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the car was in pawn. You know, the jury was in pawn. You know, uh, you know, Rick, you know what I'm saying? He couldn't pay his mortgage. You know, Ken, you know, he got kicked out. He got evicted. You know, Ken, car went repo. All that stuff. They didn't talk about all that stuff. And then in the book of Psalms 23, it says, God said, I prepare a table before your enemy. What do you mean by that? He will allow you to eat. In front of your enemies. And then he said, you make your enemies your footstool. So basically, people that hate on you and people that despise you and jealous of you, those are your enemies. Mm. And God will prepare a table for you before your enemies. That's Psalms 23, because he's your shepherd. You know, and he also said, not only said, well, I prepare a table before your enemies, but also make your enemy your footstool. Meaning that you would be standing on them fools and they'd be sitting there looking like a fool after they didn't talk talked about you and hated on you and told you, you know, everybody that you were fake and you was this, and really you was the one. You know, that's what happened. When people know you great, I told my son that the other day, he was like, damn, these people hating on me. I said, son, listen, they just, what they doing is they doing a preview, you know what I'm saying, of the movie. 
You know what I'm saying? They already know what the movie is, so they try to do a preview. They trying to hate before the movie come out. Because they know in this movie you're gonna be a shining star. Right. They know you're gonna be a winner. So 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 before you even win, they're gonna try to discourage you and make you feel bad because they trying to they know once you win they can't give it to you. So let me give it to them in advance. You know what I'm saying? Let me hate in advance. Let me hate on him before he had this major breakthrough, before he had this successful uh enterprise or this successful project. You know, that's how people is. They see you on the verge of success. And they try to intervene with, with, with wickedness and hatred and, and devils and all, all this other evilness and all this stuff because they know that you're well on your way. You know what I mean? Because one thing haters can understand and recognize, they can understand and recognize a winner. That's why they hate because they lose us. Because they because they lose us. Because they lose they lose it. Because they lose they lose This is my book, The Art of Human Chess. This is a bestseller, New York best time seller. This book here sold millions, sold all over the world, all throughout the prison system. This is the book, The 48 Laws of Game, Pepology. Make sure you get these books. If you can't if you don't want to buy the hardcover, if you don't want to buy the paperback, then the best thing to do is go to iTunes on your cell phone and type in my name, Pippa Ken, and I guarantee you the book will pop up. They don't work, go to audiobook.com, type in my name, they don't work, go to Amazon. Dot com, type in my name. Anywhere books are sold all over the country, you can get my books. These are my best-selling books. You hear people talk about them all the time on Instagram, on Snapchat. These are definitely some good reads. Please get my book. I guarantee you that you will never be the same. Your life will be impacted, and also your life will be enhanced just by getting these two books, The Art of Human Chess and The 48 Laws of Game, just like The 48 Laws of Power, just like The Art of War. Wow, what it do, man? It's the original hot boy, Young Turk. It's your brother, Big Al Austin. Uncle Ice. E-40. Shout out to my homie, Pimp and Ken. What's up, Ken? Hey, Kenneth Ivey Sr. What's up, Kenneth Ivey Supreme? Special congratulations to the new addition to the family. Congratulations on your new grandson. Little Mr. King, Ken Ivey III. Hey, Ken the Third, man. Congratulations, homie. A grandson. Congratulations. You've been blessed with the seed of all seeds. That grandson. Kenneth I be the second. Congratulations on your son. This is a special moment. It's a beautiful thing. And we gotta cherish this, man, because ain't nothing like family. Bring another life in here. Everything else we do is selfish bullshit, you know? Material stuff come and go. Cars, money, jewels, having fun. But that family gonna be there. But when we make a life, that's a big thing. God has just blessed you with another addition to the family. A little king. He gonna be a king just like you. Keep that king going. Pass the torch, train him and raise him. You know he got me too. We all family, we all we got. Grandpa is extremely happy. Your dad is extremely happy. From the barbershops to VBS restaurants to U-Bar, the Peach Cobbler Soul Food, Mr. King of Kings Entertainment, all that good stuff. Players like him and myself, it takes a lot to excite us. So I'm glad he's excited about this. The third. Ken Ivy the third. Kenneth Ivy the third. With that being said, I'm signing out. Welcome to the world, baby. Peace and love. All love. Peace. Much love. Yee! Four, Four seven. Seven.